Hello everyone. Now we will learn how to solve the problem regarding on statically determined axially loaded member. The question is, the composite steel bar shown is made from two segments of AB and BD, having a cross-sectional area of AAB equals to 600 mm square and ABD equals to 1200 mm square. Determine the vertical displacement of NA and displacement of B relative to C. Given that Young modulus of steel bar equals to 210 gigapascal. We want to find the value of delta. We know that delta equals to PL over AE. First of all, we have to decide how many sections we want to cut. What we have to do is, from the equation delta equals to PL over AE, we just ignore the L. Then we analyze how many sections we have to cut regarding on P, A, and E. For P, P acting at point A, B, and C. So, we can divide the steel bar into three sections, which are P, A, B, P, B, C, and P, C, D. For A, we only have two different cross-sectional areas. A, A, B, and A, B, D. While for E, we only have one type of material, which is E steel. This is three sections, this is two sections, and this is one section. For how many sections we want to cut, we must follow the highest number of sections, which are three sections. Section A, B, Section B, C, and section CD. Then, how we are going to start? We have to cut from the end of the bar, which is section AB. Draw a free body diagram of AB, which we must cut just before the point B. At point A, we have 75 kN. At the cutting point, we have internal force PAB, represents the internal force in section AB. Note that we always assume the internal force is in tension to ease our calculations later. After that, we apply the static equilibrium equation summation of Fy equal to 0, upward direction is positive. 75k minus PAB equal to 0, PAB equal to 75 kN. The positive value of PAB represents PAB is in tension. For section BC, we just repeat the same steps as section AB. Draw a free body diagram and put all the forces exist, including the internal force of BC that assume in tension. Apply static equilibrium equation. And we get PBC equals to 35 kN, which represent PBC is in tension. Then proceed to section CD by repeating the same steps. We get PCD equals to negative 50 kN. The negative value of PCD represents the internal force of CD is in compressions. To ease our calculations, we put all the values involved in the table. Vertical displacement of A is the delta total or total deflection. Delta total equals to delta AB plus delta BC plus delta CD. We calculate delta one by one. Delta AB equals to 5.95 times 10 to the power of negative 4 meters. Delta BC equals to 
times 10 to the power of negative 4 meters. Delta CD equals to negative 9.92 times 10 to the power of negative 5 meters. So, the total deflection is 5.998 times 10 to the power of negative 4 meters, which approximates to 0 0.06 millimeters. Then, displacement of B relative to C represents the delta BC. From the calculation earlier, we get delta BC equals to 1.04 times 10 to the power of negative 4 meters or 0 0.104 millimeters.